Uh, Director, why did you take their copy of the Constitution? I'm sorry, take the, copy of the, whose, the couple, whose the Constitution? Couple in, uh, the couple in Alaska that turned out to be the wrong couple, you, you kicked in their door, you held them at gunpoint, handcuffed them, interrogated them for four hours, you took their phone, you took their laptop, and you took a copy of their pocket-sized Constitution. Why did you take the Constitution? Well, Congressman, as you know, I can't discuss a specific investigation. I'm not sure whether your characterization is accurate or not, but I, I can't provide a it's specific been widely information about the, a pending reported, investigation. It's been reported in the press. Our staff has actually talked to these individuals. That's what, the, I mean, it's, they, they tell us this is exactly what happened. I'm just curious, you know, I see what you'd maybe, you had the wrong couple, but if you take their phone, their laptop, I'm just curious why you take their constitution. Again, I can't comment on a specific investigation and what the Did you personally talk was. to the Hupers? Have I talked to whom? Have you talked to this couple in Alaska? Again, the, the, the couple who had their door kicked in, damage to their door, the FBI has now repaired their door, uh, held a gunpoint, handcuffed, and interrogated for four hours. Have you talked to him personally? Uh, no, I have not. If you find out it's really, I mean, I, I think it's obvious to, it, based on what we've discovered that this was the wrong couple, that these weren't people who did anything wrong. Uh, if you find out they are, will you call them? Uh, I'd have to look at the circumstances of what happened, but it's an ongoing investigation. That's all I can really say on it at this, at this time. If it turns out you, you've sent their phone back to them, the laptop back to them. If it turns out that they are the wrong couple, as again, as I, I think that is, is pretty obvious, um, what happens to the data on the phone that you have? Can you, I'm sorry, can you explain a little bit more what you're asking? You keep a record, like you, you return the phone to them, but the data on the phone, do you have like copies of their text messages, emails, anything on their phone? Did you keep all that? Um, I, well, when we return people's information, my impression is that we don't keep that information, but it depends on the circumstances of the investigation. It's an innocent couple. You, you, your impression is you're not gonna keep information? Well, again, I can't discuss a specific investigation. If, I, if you would like to get more information about how it works when we return, more generally, our policies and practices, when we return information, I'm happy to see if we can provide that information to you separately. Well, you would think if, it's, if, it's, if, they're not, if they're innocent, if they're not guilty, and you've got information on them, you would, you would get rid of that information. You wouldn't, the FBI wouldn't keep it. I, and I'm not trying to... But again, in light of what we've found out with about FISA, maybe not. I'm not, I'm, I honestly, I'm really not trying to quibble with you here. The only reason I'm providing what sounds like a confusing answer is because each case is different, depends on the circumstances as to how you got the information, what the circumstances were. We certainly have instances where we purge information that we have. I know that happens. We have other instances where we may be investigating something and the information is kept. But again, it depends on the circumstances as a whole network. Do you know, do you know how this couple this was site? identified? I mean, you, you look on your uh, Twitter site, the, the, the posted tweet is a, is a crowdsourcing. Can you help us find these individuals? You got pictures of individuals. This is relative to January 6th. Um, were, were, was this couple in Alaska found through the crowdsourcing, that, 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 that technique? Uh, I, I don't know the answer to that sitting here right now. And again, I want to be careful not to discuss a specific investigation. I will say that more generally, in, related to January 6th, uh, part of the purpose of, of uh, putting out information for the public is for the public to identify people, right. know people to identify. You're doing, are you doing that as well for, for the rioters, the, the, the people in the Antifa in Portland? You're doing that as well? Then? Yes, okay, absolutely. You, do you, uh, is, it a, is it a habit of the FBI to take constitutions from people that you're interrogating? I don't know if it's a habit to pursue any particular document. Just found, we, I just we, found that we just seize the evidence that's relevant to what's in the affidavit that we search warrant affidavit that we presented to the judge who signed off on it. Did you sign off on the uh, on the raid on Mayor Giuliani's apartment? Again, I'm not going to discuss any specific investigation. I don't normally sign off on specific operational activity as FBI director. Because I'm going to ask. I asked, did you sign off on this specific FBI activity where the president's personal lawyer's apartment in Manhattan was raided? And again, I'm not going to discuss any specific investigation. The, um, are you aware of any leaks by the FBI or the Department of Justice about an investigation of Postmaster General DeJoy? I'm aware of news coverage uh, about an investigation related to that individual, but I'm not aware of leaks from been people on inside anything? the FBI. 
You haven't been briefed on anything relative to the FBI or the Justice Department relating to that leak of an investigation of the postmaster. Gentlemen, time has expired. The witness may answer the question. I can't discuss a specific investigation.